Hey guys, I'm back with three more games that I'm really excited about for 2013 and I cannot wait to tell you about them, so let's get started. So for all of my Bioshock fans out there, I know you guys have been eagerly awaiting the debut of Bioshock Infinite. It's going to be set in the floating city of Columbia, which will be a completely different experience than the sunken city of Rapture in Bioshock 1 and 2. The same kind of mysterious aura will be present in the game. One of the major differences is because you're in the sky now, not underwater, you will not be as limited by space and the environment since there is nothing to hold you down or hold you back. The uh, Chicago World's Fair from 1893 is going to play a heavy role in this game. It's going to be a huge influence on the way the game is designed, how it's structured and set up. And you're going to see a lot of the scenery and the background and a lot of the characters reflect that time period. What makes me really interested to play uh, Injustice Gods Among Us is the fact that the storyline is very original and it's going to be not like fighting games you played before. Some of your favorite superheroes and your favorite villains are going to switch sides. I won't tell you which ones, not going to ruin the surprise, um, but that is definitely going to blur what you think would be the obvious lines between good and evil and that's what makes this game so unique. All the best characters from the DC Comics franchise are there. Uh, you've got Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, uh, you know, some of the other characters, The Flash, are going to be in the game and people are going to be able to quickly find their favorite um, and their storyline may or may not surprise you so hold on to your seats for this one it's going to be really interesting and of course the big game that we've all been talking about for a very long time since December of 2011 is The Last of Us you get the same kind of storyline from Resident Evil with the sort of zombie apocalypse and the same kind of twists and turns of an Uncharted all kind of wrapped into the same game with beautiful graphics, beautiful storyline uh, very developed characters, they all have their own flaws and highlights that you kind of want to fall in love with each of them and hate them each in their own ways and you very easily will lose yourself in this game and because it's not come out until May of this summer I am expecting nothing but phenomenal things from them it better blow my socks off because May is a long time to wait be sure to comment on the video below tell me what games I didn't include that I should have tell me what you think of the games that I picked this week tell me uh, what I should review next time